Today in the wood yard, we're delivering firewood. Here we go. Hello fellow firewood fanatics. My name is Chris, in case you are here for the first time. If you've been here before, thanks for coming back. It's time to get to work. Here we go. So today is the delivery day. I've got two wood deliveries this morning. One is for mixed hardwood and the other one is for hickory. One is about 30 miles that away and one is about 20 miles that away. So got some delivery fees I'm gonna have to charge, but that's the way it goes. Gotta deliver them. I'm gonna load it up right now and then we're gonna go deliver it. When I get back, then we're gonna work on doing some work in the wood yard. I got some splitting to do. I got some stacking to do. I got all kinds of stuff. When I pulled in this morning, there was tragedy. We have tragedy in the wood yard. These big piles I have here that I've got stacked, they're like a little over six feet high. I had to do a bunch of them. And the one, the tallest one that I had is right here. Tragedy. A pile fell over on me. So <laughs> I've got to restack this. It's not a measured pile, so it's no big deal. And I kind of know what I'm going to do with it. I'm just going to stack it up on top of there and put it on some of these here. So I got to get that cleaned up. The reason I got to get it cleaned up right now, because I drive through here because I have to get back to that wood and back over to there and I have to get over to this wood to be split. So I got to clean that pile up. But right now we're going to throw some wood into the truck and we're going to go down the road and deliver it. That's what's happening first. <laughs> There it is, a beautiful load of mixed hardwood going to be delivered. I've got a little bit of everything in there. I've, I saw a little bit of ash, saw a little bit of cherry, had a little bit of maple, uh, had a little bit of aspen. I got a bunch of birch. There's some basswood. Uh, what else did I see in there? Uh, I saw a couple pieces of cottonwood. I mean, it's just a little bit of everything, but there's a lot of birch and maple. That's probably the main thing that's in there, which is great. And it's for campfire wood, so she said just a mix of stuff is what they want. So there it is, down the road we go. Well, here I am at my uh, location and this is where I'm supposed to put the wood. This garbage can is put here as a marker and my money is right there underneath it. So this is where it's gonna go. There it is, unloaded. It's a beautiful pile, isn't it? So, on to the next one, down the road we go. So I'm back from my delivery that I just did, you saw me do, and now I need to clean up the tragedy of the day. And well, all I'm going to do is just stack it up on top of here and get it up in there because it's an unmeasured pile. Now I was thinking as I was driving away, this exact same thing happened in the exact same spot last spring. Same thing. So it got, got me to thinking, why in the same spot? Well, I am in a very, it's not steep, but it's a pretty good drainage coming this way. And this is always a very soft spot right here. 
and everything comes off there's a berm back everything comes off that berm and it drains this way too so this is this the ground here is always very saturated and wet and squishy after a rain so i think what happened is there was obviously a higher pile it's a little bit of a slope this way and because the ground was so saturated with water i think it just got soft and the pallet sunk just enough that it caused the whole thing to topple even though i had brace pieces in there to hold it it didn't obviously hold it but when you go higher like that that obviously is a risk uh, but that probably won't happen too much anymore because now i'm going to be building pallet ends and going just four feet almost all the time um, so anyway i got to get this picked up because i need to get back to that hickory back there because that's my next delivery so this right here i'm just going to stack up in this area here and get it out of the way so that i can get back to the hickory so going to do some stacking well what i've decided to do is instead of trying to resurrect that pile and get it all nice and everything the same thing i did last year instead of fighting that because i'd have to pull a bunch down and then kind of try to redo it i'm just going to put a couple of runners down here and i'm going to do a face cord right across here which will kind of block this a little bit because this has a little bit of a lean to it too but it's not bad um, but i'm gonna put it right across the front here because uh, it's out of the way i got plenty of room to drive through here and that'll be all that pile that i'm going to make right now the stack of the face cord will be one of the very first ones i get rid of in fall probably by september so i'm just going to crisscross down here on this end and uh build it up to four feet and just go across and then kind of repair that best i can so that'll work now something i saw as i was doing this there's a chunk in here that i do once in a while that um, some of you probably would go oh no that's an ugly piece of wood and it's these here when i get a piece that is you know 15 inches or more across so 16 17 18 inch pieces i try to just split them in half a lot of times because here's a pretty piece of wood this one's not so pretty but the length is the same it's a 16 piece of wood 16 inch piece of wood and for those of you that heat you know this this is awesome wood these chunks like this on the end they last a long time they burn nice and slow and they dry really good because you've got open end on both sides here and you got the open grain there's no bark on it except for this little bit here so this will be an awesome piece of wood so there's no sense throwing this into your cookie pile if it's a big enough piece because when you go to stack it it actually stacks really good too i mean it's a nice piece of wood to stack on so we'll just throw these out and uh and when people see these i always play it up as a positive i say oh you got one of the good chunks those are really good burners that's the one you want to put on last i said that'll last a long time they burn nice and slow so i saw that as a positive not a negative so here we go we're gonna do some stacking right now except we're gonna go a little faster than that The tragedy has been repaired. So, um, one of these runners was only a seven footer. Uh, it's uh, some planks I got from a place just down the road that uh, gets piping and they get uh, pipe and they have the boards on the bottom of the semi-trailer that they put the pipes on. So some of them are seven footers, some are eight footers. You can see one's a little longer than the other. This one right here is an eight footer. So this one here is like a seven and a half. So what I did just to be sure I have the right amount of wood is I measured the length or the width and the height and normally you'd want four feet by eight feet to get your face cord or third of a cord if you look at the front of it, that's why it's called a face cord it'd be 32 square feet if you measured it so you'd have your four feet high eight feet long be 32 square feet as you look at it but this isn't that so what this is is it's about seven and a half by about four and a half which means if you multiply four and a half times seven and a half i think it's like 33.75 or something like that, 33 and a half square feet. So I know there's a little bit more than a, a full a face cord here. So 
it's good to go. So it can just sit here and the rest of it, all I did was I just took and just put some up there. So it's kind of going to stay up there out of the way because it's not a measured pile, but this one in front is measured now. So that one's ready to be sold. So now we're going to bring the truck back through here. I'm going to back up this way into uh, where I've got all my hickory, which is back here because that's what this next order is for, is a face quarter, a third of a quarter of hickory. And this is what I got left of hickory, this pile right here there's actually two rows in there so that's what i'm gonna be backing up to and loading up for the next delivery so here comes the truck i am here Time to load the wood. So here we go, it's chucking wood time. Get the wood chuck out. So this is a face cord of hickory. The guy said he does some grilling and he wants to do hickory. So that's what we're gonna put it, hickory. got shag bark hickory which looks like this and I have smooth bark hickory which looks like this but smooth bark hickory is actually bitter nut bit not butter bitter bitter nut shag bark hickory but it's considered this shake this smooth bark hickory or bitter nut is considered a hickory so there you go A beautiful load of hickory is going down the road right now. Going to deliver it. So I'm just pulling away from my delivery. Um, for those of you that want to know, sometimes I don't record because of the cramped space, but sometimes people don't want to be on camera. And I asked the guy, I said, okay, if I record this, I have a YouTube channel. He said, I'd rather not be on camera because he was actually doing all the stacking. I backed right into his garage and all I did was I set the wood on the tailgate and then he took it and put it right into his pile. So I was, you know, it was like not even one step away from, from where the wood was going to be because it was kind of in a corner. So I kind of curved into the garage and which is kind of nice because people appreciate that versus just throwing it in the driveway or something. I always tried to get as close to their pile as possible. So got right in there and it's hickory and he said I've been looking for hickory for a year he says I can never find it in bulk he said I got to go to uh, uh, Menards which is a local box store around here and he said he buys it in bags and he said for what he pays for just a couple bags he got a whole face cord or a third of a cord he said it's like four times as much wood as what he normally would even get for the same price he said I'll be calling you again because he does a lot of smoking. Um, he does a lot of brisket and ribs and pulled pork, stuff like that. So I told him next time when I come, I expect the grill to be going and uh, I'll take whatever he's got. I need a sandwich or just uh, you know a handful of ribs, whatever. He said, I'll have make sure I have ribs the next time you come. So <laughs> kind of a cool guy. He said that uh, he's gonna start doing events. He's been doing things for people where um, they know that he's really good at it and likes it and uh, he, is going to start doing um, some fundraising events. He said if they just cover his cost, he said he's perfectly happy. He just loves loves the the, the, the smoking and the grilling out. And uh, so I asked him about, you know, sauces and stuff like that. And he makes his own sauce and everything. So he's really into it. So that was really cool. He's pretty happy to get the hickory. He said he's never been able to find it in bulk at all anywhere. So anyway, that is it for today, folks. Thanks for kind of coming along and watching all day today. Hopefully uh, it was entertaining. And uh, tomorrow I'll be back in the wood yard and I know you're gonna be there because it's the place to be, as you know. And uh, tomorrow we'll do some more woodwork and uh, we'll, we'll do some, some good fun stuff. 
So between now and then, get outside, do some cutting. Good night, Irene. <laughs>